Hello everyone, and welcome back to a new episode of Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Uh, normally, I say we're playing this strategy, demigod, whatever, blah blah blah. Uh, but this time, that's not true. Uh, we are not playing this character. Uh, rather, we are reliving his final moments. Uh, I don't know if it was wheels or pleasing fungus, but one of them had uh, the job of taking strategy down into Vaults 5 to pick up the last uh, five normal standard runes. And uh, it didn't go very well, evidently. Uh, so I have downloaded the movie, so to speak, of, uh, uh, of his last session. I've speeded it up to the point where he's just about to go into Vaults 5, or rather I've skipped to that point. And... Uh, I thought we would uh, we would watch it together and see how it goes. So uh, I'm gonna set it to like say double speed. What? Oh X. There we go. Yeah. Um, and I'll hit play, and uh, we'll just sort of see how it goes, and hit uh, pause if necessary. Maybe slow it down. Whatever. If I had to guess, I'd say this is wheels because oh yeah, of course it's wheels because this is his RC file. He's got like he clears the log at the bottom and he has it show the. Um, the, the glyph is a P instead of an at, because demigods are vaguely human-shaped, so they're Ps. But also because this is how I saw him handle Vaults 5 on, I think it was Fun, the Vine Stalker. So, okay, not not my favorite strats. I really feel like just teleporting any time here would be an improvement. Um, you can see he seems to be slowing down to think. Like, this is, this is actually playing... Uh, so it's not just each move is a certain amount of time, but rather the amount of time that he spent on the turn is reflected in how long it takes us to watch the turn. And we can skip them if, like, he gets up and goes for coffee or something and comes back an hour later, you know, we can we can skip that break. But for now, we're playing things at the same sp speed he did. You know what? Let's, uh, let's slow it down to normal speed, since uh, things seem to be getting a little bit dicey. Um, we're not hasted, we're not... Our only buff here is regen, apparently. I think, uh, well, actually, I don't know if we have haste. This is not a character who found the wand of hasting, so maybe we're just, like, out. But uh, it seems like might or agile. But, uh, like, honestly, teleport, I think, would be the main the main thing here. Um, he seems to be managing it, like, kind of okay. Uh, we also, of course, have a ton of heal wounds. There you go. He's teleporting. Great. Okay. Seem to be running away from the Iron Dragon and the Titan, which seems reasonable to me. Okay. Running towards some other monsters is not as exciting, but you know what can? Or it's not as great, but what can you do, right? Anyway, we're teleporting again. Ooh, lightning! Yikes. Yeah. Ah, we learned haste and can almost cast it. That's nice. Um, I feel like this whole bad situation, it's like kind of hard to rescue from this point because everywhere you teleport, you land somewhere and there's monsters and you're low enough that you can't fight monsters in general. I mean, he's complaining, but they're not that bad. You landed next to just four monsters. And, you know, if you were at full health, four monsters wouldn't be so bad. Um, and Vaults is, like, just full of monsters, so four is not totally outrageous. Um, you ha you sort of spread them out all over the level, too, by dragging them a whole, a whole long way before teleporting. I think if you just teleport at full health... You know, you land in any one of these spots and they're fine. Ooh, miscast haste, yikes. Um, but now, pretty much any time you land, the situation is still bad. Alright, we have like... We have a lot of heal wounds though, so there's that. And we're haste walking away, that seems to be going okay. That's better than teleporting for now anyway playing a little more quickly than I would like. Um, in, like, not... We could easily, like... Hmm, 
get hit and then move and then get hit like without even noticing the first hit because we're, we're tapping keys so fast it seems like to me uh what is going on this is really bad pots what is what is all this let's go back did we get paralyzed or anything what's the deal okay we just lost haste The screen is flashing red because we're at low health, is that why? Yeah. Okay. And we're constricted. That's what happened. Yeah. So I think that constriction is a big deal that we were not really paying as much attention to as we should have. Um, and then we got marked, which is obviously dreadful. Really quaff heal wounds? Yeah, I mean, I agree. Uh, okay, I guess we'll get back to playing now. We're just sort of chugging heal wounds at this point, it looks like. Am I recording? I am, right? Of course I am. Alright, now we're blinking to get out of it. That's fine, but we're marked in Vaults 5. I mean, we need to quaff cancellation right now, and then probably teleport. Good. Good. Okay, one Eden. No, stay and fight it. That's, I mean, like, an Eden is dangerous, but when you walk away, it's, you're just going to find even worse stuff. There's nowhere safe yet on this floor. You have to make a place safe by fighting it. Um, I don't know. Maybe it wouldn't have been safe, actually, because there's that area is a place that a lot of monsters could hear combat, so maybe we did need to back away. And it looks like he's trying to clear a space now. I'm a little not sure why, okay, we did it, we cleared a space, great, I mean, so there's the Actar captain, but at least this corner might be, hmm, I feel like this TTY record is not quite right, because it's, there's like those weird two floating right, uh, right here, like this and this, like they don't look right, this TTY player is uh, not the standard one. Um, but I took it because unlike the standard one, it has like rewind and skip to skip to a particular frame and so on. Um, uh, the standard TDY play is just like, it doesn't have a lot of features. Um, and so I don't know if it's a problem. Oh, I see. If we look over here, there's some sort of weird control character going on over here. That's like shifting everything over by two for some reason. Not sure exactly what the deal is there, whether it was a special character that this TUI player doesn't know how to render or what. But okay, we seem to be making good progress here. How are we doing in terms of like how much is left? We're through about a half of his journey to vaults. So I mean, I guess spoiler alert, he's not about to die here. Mm, you know. Um, God, look at those stupid. Duh. The, the the thing that makes the wall look all funny. We can still get an idea for what's going on, of course, but it just looks dumb. Okay, we seem to have refreshed the screen and that maybe fixed it. I don't know. Alright. So it seems to be going okay at this point. Um, I wonder, like, I don't know, I'm doing this sort of uh, funeral for foreclosure because I think it is, like, if, if I were watching a dungeon crawl playlist and it was like, oh, you know, the character died and I'm not going to show you how it died, like, I think that's the end of the game, whether it's by winning or by dying, is um, decent amulet, actually. But I guess reflection is reasonable too. Um, if I were watching a Dungeon Crawl playlist, I oh I already said that part. I would want to see the end. I think that that's an important like you're hearing a story or you're being told a story anyway by you know the the video, and 
you know, if there's some technical issue that makes it for some reason impossible to see the end, as has happened in one of my videos, and I had to, I actually went back and watched the, watched the video of myself playing, I think is what I did actually, um, and then recorded that. But anyway, uh, I don't know. It would be, it would be a shame. I, I think that like, I, I owe you guys the end here, even though I'm not, it's not my fault either that we can't play the character anymore. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Uh, I wish I could sort of like interrupt this and like actual issue actual dungeon crawl commands like hit control X or capital X to see what the map looks like and so on. But uh, um, but we can't. So I don't. I think he's still like less than a quarter of the way through with this in terms of like how many monsters are left. Because I think this is the northeast corner and it's still not clear and I'm pretty sure he hasn't cleared any of the other corners. This is a lot of monsters to be fighting all at once. Let's let's actually speed things up a bit. Uh, move to double speed. We slowed down because he was in like dire straits but he seems to be doing kind of okay for the moment. Mm, I'm not so sure about that anymore. Let's slow back down. We're hasted, we're regenerating, okay. And we're running away. Hmm. Okay, that's good. I approve of running away, for sure. Yeah, let's speed this up a little more. I kind of just want to see the end or see anything really dire that happens in the middle. Uh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right, well, slow down. What's going on here? All right, we, we are actually quite close to the end now. Uh, let's back up. I don't know. I guess whatever. He's just fighting a bunch of stuff here, so no need to exactly s slow back down or back up. We're, we don't have enough buffs right now, I feel like. Uh, we're going to die with a ton of haste or might and agility in our back, in our in our pack, right? I feel like if we had quaffed that earlier when we were still inside of this quadrant uh, and surrounded by a bunch of guys, we might be okay here. It's a little late now, perhaps, although perhaps not. Yeah, this, this, this rendering is all messed up. It looks like there's way more Titans than there actually are. But, um, yeah, it's really just the one Titan at this point, um, but, but we're just not buffed. We're fighting him at, at, uh, oh, right, and we're using a quick blade of electrocution, and they're immune to electricity, so that's a part, big part of the problem. Yeah, and then he finally decided to kill us. Okay. Uh, so that's the end of that. Um, did we in fact die with a bunch of uh, might and uh, yeah, two potions of might, two agility, not a bunch, but some. Okay. Wow, two manuals, pretty good. Um, there we go. Final score, five hundred seventy-seven. Whatever. Um, I'm not sure how many points we got. Um, <clears throat> how many points we got for the? Can I see that? Like. Uh, can I ask the bot, like, um, team scores? No. Oh, I see. We got uh, eight regular points plus, I guess, seven for the two bonuses we accomplished. No, wait. Yeah, we accomplished two bonuses, right? Dive Lair, Dive Abyss. Yeah, that's seven, I think. Okay, fine. Um, so there we go. He's dead. And... Uh, I asked Pleasing Fungus and Wheels if they would like anything read at his funeral. Uh, Wheels, who I guess is the one who was playing, right, we decided, said, um, Despite his short life, strategy still managed to demigod wander into my heart. Aw, how sweet. And uh, Pleasing Fungus asked that I read... Can I paste this? Does that work? Convert? Okay. I can. I can paste Japanese in here. Uh, this is Japanese for Demigod Wanderer, uh, I guess. 
which is a little bit relevant because um, because there's this like I, I don't know if it's a meme or like a real thing or what, but at least over here in the West, we think that the Japanese crawl players believe Demigod Wanderer is disgustingly broken, way stronger than any possible other character. They think it's so easy that they can't count it together with ordinary wins. They say there's Demigod Wanderer wins, and then there's other wins. And the first is a lot easier than the second. So this entry is in the LearnDB. It's Japanese. Strategy's true name. Uh, may, he, may he rest in peace. Uh, so that's the end of that character, but we've still got two more. And I know that neither of them are dead because it's my turn to play them. So uh, that's what you've got to look forward to next time. Uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.